Thank you very much for giving me the floor. This was not uh, anticipated. Uh, actually, I wrote the, uh, the foreword of the Belgian uh, edition of the encyclical. So I, I read it and I know what it contains. Um, but as IPCC vice chair, uh, I explain in that foreword that the Pope goes much further than what the IPCC can do because the IPCC has by its mandate to be very cautious in not uh, making value judgments. And of course, uh, the encyclical um, relies uh, on, on uh, value judgment and it, it is most welcome, but it's a different work than what the IPCC can do. And precisely, the choice between having a target as 1.5 or 2 degrees is not only a, a scientific uh, question, it is very much uh, a question involving a value judgment because it depends on, on the value you put to human life uh, in different parts of the world or the value you put on different aspects of the consequences of climate change. So, speaking as IPCC vice chair, I, I cannot uh, say one needs to do this and one needs to do that because that would be completely out of my mandate. But I've tried, and I've tried it many times, uh, to explain uh, what are the, difference, the different uh, consequences uh, for uh, the most vulnerable populations, uh, in particular low-lying countries and coastal regions uh, because 1.5 or 2 degrees uh, have very different consequences in terms of sea level rise in the long term. The temperature for the conservation of the ice sheets, particularly Greenland ice sheets, uh, that temperature is probably uh, somewhere between 1 and 4 degrees above the pre-industrial value but we are already today at 0 0.9 above the pre-industrial value. So we are very close to that threshold, which is, following the last IPCC report, somewhere between 1 and 4. There is, unfortunately, a large uncertainty range. But if, if the value is 1, then we are close to that threshold, and, uh, of course, it would be closer we would be closer to that threshold with a 1.5 long-term target than with a two-degree target. Uh, but to make that choice would require a um, uh, value judgment that the IPCC alone uh, cannot do. So I hope it helps a little bit. <laughs> but um, I welcome very much. This is the Belgian edition, and I wrote the foreword, so... Uh, I, I, I welcome very much the encyclical, but it's going much further than what the IPCC uh, uh, can do, of course.